My name is Sandra Smith, and I have the honor of leading the incredible, zealous Warsaw women. And we have with us at the GLC, we have Lesia, Katya, Angelina, and Nadia all here. And I'm so grateful to be in your ministry. The title of my charge this afternoon is A Spirit of Unstoppable Discipline. So when we break this down, the dictionary definition is a vital strength, impossible to stop, that's in complete obedience to God. Discipline doesn't make us a better disciple. Discipline makes us a disciple. In 1 Corinthians 9, 24 to 27, the Bible reads, Do you not know that in a race all the runners run, but only one gets the prize? Run in such a way to get the prize. Everyone who competes in the games goes into strict training. They do it to get a crown that will not last, but we do it to get a crown that will last forever. Therefore, I do not run like someone running aimlessly. I do not fight like a boxer beating the air. No, I strike a blow to my body and I make it my slave so that after I have preached to others, I myself will not be disqualified for the prize. One of my closest friends from college in Iowa, uh, he is a three-time Ironman national championship. Champion, champion. Uh, and so an Ironman, just for anyone who doesn't know, uh, it's a 2.4 mile swim. It's about 3.9 kilometers. It's a 112 mile bike ride, 180 kilometers. And it's a full marathon, so 26.2 miles, 42 kilometers. So after he's won these three competitions, I started to ask him all these questions about like how he did it and what, like, what his diet looked like. And he told me, I asked him, I said, oh, do you drink like just a ton of water? And he's like, no, I can never drink water. I drink Mountain Dew and Coke. And I was like, wait, what? And he's like, I can't wait, I can't have empty calories. I need to consume 5,000 calories a day. So he goes, I, everything that comes into my body needs to be like high calorie food items, high calorie drinks because I need all of this because I burn so many calories. Um, and I was thinking like for the majority of us, this is super unwise, right? This would be a terrible, terrible diet. But so how do we discover exactly the diet that's right for us? The diet that God wants us to have? It's by having amazing personal quiet times. That's how we find out a personal plan that God has for us. I also asked him, I said, do you ever lose your breath during the race? Like during parts of the race, do you ever feel like you're out of breath? And he goes, no, if I lose my breath, I've already lost the race. So spirit, the word spirit in Hebrew is ruah, which means wind or breath. So have we lost our breath? Have we lost our spirit running aimlessly? Instead, my friend told me he uses his watch and he goes off of calculations that him and his trainer have decided together. So it's all a calculations game on his speed, his time. And I was thinking about as well with the Bible, this is literally what tells us where we're supposed to be, what we're supposed to do, be doing, what our mission is. So do we use the Bible so that we're not aimlessly running, so that we actually ignite the spirit within us? So I want to leave us with just two simple practicals. Protect your quiet times at all costs. They are the first and most important part of our day. Our dear sister, Brittany Underhill, she shared something with me that it's always stuck with me. She goes, when you do your quiet time, have a blank piece of paper next to you with a pen, and anything that comes into your mind, write it down. Any calls that you miss, any texts that you got to get back to, anything that even God puts on your heart, reach out to this person, just jot it on this piece of paper. At the end of your quiet time, read through all of it and pray through all of it, and then start going through the list. And practical number two, pray through the tasks and pick to do the hardest thing first. The hardest thing is often the most important thing and the thing we least want to do. But commit ourselves to praying through, deciding what the hardest thing is, and committing to do that first. Sisters, let us be Isaiah 32, 8 women. Women who make noble plans, and by noble deeds we stand. I love you, family.